is going on everybody and welcome to yet again another board game review. Last one was about unfair and now this one we go back to the time where zombies ruled the earth. I bring you zombie side. Wow. Literally what describes my first impression of it was wow. I mean, I've never seen a game. I mean, I have technically because I have played level 7 and as you remember it was all tiles. But these tiles are huge. I mean, they're big. I remember when I first played, I was trying to, you know, correctly set it up and I'm like, I need more room. I got to push this stuff back cuz I need room for the for the survivor cards and I need room for, for item cards and then the zombie cards. I'm like, this is insane. This is a great game. This is an amazing, an amazing game. I mean, the first game, Zombie Side, uh, I ever tried out was uh, Rue Morgue because that was like the first game I actually got. Not thinking in my head that they all kind of have like their own little series. So I'm like, ah, I got to pick up. The base, the first game, the first zombie side. It's lame when you go all the way to what's Room Morgue season three and you don't start the first one. That's like everyone's favorite show, Game of Thrones. You're starting all the way at season seven without watching season one. The Walking Dead, you're all the way at season five without watching season one. And it's like, yeah, I gotta get to season one and everything else. So I did and I opened it up and the one thing I can say was, wow. Because I love, you know me, I always say this practically in every review I feel like I do, it's the detail, <laughs> the attention to detail. I gotta, <laughs> excuse me, I gotta come up with something different than that, but I can't help it. The streets, the, 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 the buildings, everything is just made so perfectly. I mean, you can literally look up close at one of these rooms and just be astounded by how much they put into it. It's not just a random room where it's like a box and you're just like, okay, this is that, this is that, this is that. No, it's like you got, like in this one, you have a freaking dentist lab, dentist hospital, whatever. You got the chair, the blood, the foot. Oh, I'm noticing the footprints now. Calm down. Um, but no, th this game is... Absolutely amazing. If you are a zombie fan, if you love zombies, you love The Walking Dead, you love World War Z, not the board game, but the movie, <laughs> you love, you love uh, zombie movies, this is the game to get. I mean, I, my favorite thing about it is the different zombies that come with the game. You got your walkers, you got your runners, you got your fatties. And you got the abomination, which is like this mutated zombie that just comes from nothing. I, I, I kind of wish that there was more of a backstory to all this. There probably is. I'm just not reading. Remember what I said in the unfair review? I don't like to read the rule book. But um, I like it. It's incredible. Um, this was probably the very first game that I've ever had to really focus on actions um, because you're only allowed three actions in this game and in this game with the actions you can choose to move three spaces you can choose to search uh, you can choose to attack uh, you can reload uh, and stuff like that so it's like you really gotta plan out your stuff you know if you shoot a gun you gotta reload the gun um, it's incredible it's just an amazing game I mean the the designing of it was is absolutely tremendous and mind you I am semi new to the board game uh, uh, universe if you will I'm semi new to it and I've never seen anything like this I've never played anything like this I mean it, it annoyed me a little bit that the first mission was a hard level I'm like uh, how do I how do I beat this I can't beat this but I did once I got Toxic City Mall and I learned Zumbivers and I'm like okay all right, you win, Zombivers, and I beat it, and I'm like, geez, I have never sweat so much in a game, especially a board game. You would only sweat during video games, during outdoor games, sports, whatever. 
But this game literally made me sweat because I'm like, I gotta come over here. Uh, no, I gotta come all the way over here to get an objective. Then you find yourself in this space, and now you got a bunch of zombies coming after you. And now you gotta get all the way down to the end of town. And I'm like, whoa, my god. And what's crazy about it is, what I like is that on the uh, on the survivor cards, they got these different colors. You got blue, you got yellow, you got orange, and you got at the tip is red. All those colors not just indicate their own special abilities, because they do have special abilities. If you play zomb Zombie Side, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you have it, get the game. Um, it also is the level of how many zombies you're spawning onto the uh, onto the city. It's like it gets to be from like one to two to few to all of a sudden two runners, two fatties, five, eight walkers. You got yourself an abomination over here, and it's like, oh my lord, it's crazy. And the items they give you is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I didn't even take them out because I'm going to show you why I didn't take them out. Um, but yeah, oh, this is all wonky shows, right? But yeah, you get all these... Is this really how big this pack is? Bruh! <laughs> You're gonna explain why I don't really... I've forgotten most of these cards. I'm gonna explain to you why. But yeah, I mean, you got, you know, chainsaw and rifles and all this stuff and whatnot. What's even crazy about it, too, is the fact that you could be drawing for an item and you got the... Pretty much a zombie spawning in the room you're in. So it's like you could spawn, you could draw something good, or you could draw something that at the end just completely wipes you out. So, I don't know. What I like about it too is that they use sewer systems in this game too. So if you were to draw a card and it has a sewer on the top, basically wherever the player is on that tile, a zombie will spawn on that sewer. So there's always zombies being added onto it. And that's what I love about the game is that it gives you that sense that you're on a mission, you gotta do something. And it's not just attacking zombies. Okay, this is gonna be my job. I'm gonna go attack zombies. I'm gonna leave point A, boom, and that's it. No, you have objectives to complete. You gotta find, like for this one, you gotta find like a bag of rice, water, um, sugar, no, not sugar, something else, I don't remember. No, it was a bag of rice, water, and, 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 I don't remember. <laughs> canned food! I just passed it and can't, no, and canned food. So, um, that's the first mission. You gotta find that, then you gotta collect the objectives. Oh my lord, it's just crazy and strategic too. So you gotta plan out your moves. It's funny. First time I played the game, I'm like, how the heck do I do this? What am I doing wrong? Like, what do I do? What do I do? So I'm like, I'm at work and I'm literally planning out what I'm gonna do. I'm like, oh, maybe if I move them this way, this way, this way, without even looking at the board, because I, I memorized the board. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should move, move two people north, the other people south, and they meet up in the middle so that way they can focus on the uh, spawn zombies that are within that area. Nah, it just doesn't work. You just gotta keep thinking and thinking and thinking. Um, now, get down to the nitty and gritty. The reason why I forgot about how many cards was in the stack, and these cards right here, I don't use these. I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually don't really use them. I, I, I did in the beginning, I'll be honest with you. But listen, technology always finds a way. And some of you guys who play Zombie Side, who love Zombie Side, are gonna be like, oh no, please don't tell me he's got it. Please don't tell me he's got it. Yes, I do. I have the Zombie Side Companion app. So pretty much, there's Amy right there. Pretty much everything that is on this card is gonna be on here. I have the cards set out for me already. I got the item uh, deck set out for me. I got the zombie deck already set out for me in the game. And hey, I love it. Okay, I don't know about you. And it's good because I have all these Zombie Side expansions which are the, the, the extra zombies. And half the deck is stuck in one of them. The abomination is in one of those boxes. And I'm always like, man, this is an easy game. Yeah, yeah, no abomination. Uh, no abomination. Yeah, and I'm like, man, that was easy. I'm done with the zombie stack, and I'm like, there's no abominations. But then, 
But then I go on to, um, I go on to the app, and there's an abomination. I'm like, well, crap, that was fun while it lasted. So that's why I use the app a lot more because I feel like it's a lot organized than I am. But guys, this is a fun game. I mean, everything that you have to do in this game just revolves so much, you know, uh, uh, strategy and planning out and thinking. Also, luck of the dice. I mean, some of the weapons that you use need a certain number from the die. Um, and God willing, your character has enough to be able to hold a lot more dice than one or a lot more dice than two. So that way, your number, your chance of success is that much higher. And the horde of zombies are just, they get massive. I mean, I've had a whole wad of zombies in this location once and thank god at the time i had a uh, a molotov cocktail and let me tell you something i've also made some sacrifices too i mean i had a survivor that was stuck in a horde i mean it wasn't his turn it was another player's turn that had a molotov and i'm like i'm sorry i gotta do what i gotta do chuck the molotov in killed all the zombies including the survivor so it makes it also has you make decisions that you like i don't want to do it i really don't i love this game um, this game is a great game. I give this game a straight out 5. I mean, if I can give it a 10 out of 10, I give it a 10 out of 10. 5.5 .5 if that is, but I know you can't do .5s. There's no halvesies. That's how good it is, and that's how well out it is. And again, for my first time playing it, it was just phenomenal. It was a, it was a roller coaster. It was everything. You're up here, and then all of a sudden you just get crashed down depending on what gets spawned in your area. Um, I'm really grateful to, because uh, also not only am I doing this review for my channel, but I'm doing this review in honor of my friend Eric Hopkins, who is the man behind d and &E Miniature and Board Games. Go watch one of their videos. Um, they have like all the zombie sides, um, and they did a, d and &E did a Wolfsburg playthrough. It was Eric, Don, Glenda, Tiffany, Harry, and Tim. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I watched that video. Because <clears throat> it's so funny and it's so good. It's worth the watch. I want to put that video in... Uh, I want to put the link of that video in the description. Go subscribe to them too, guys. Uh, all my new subscribers that I've gotten, welcome to the channel. Um, subscribe to their channel, DND &E Mini and Turn Board Games. They are incredible. Awesome. Definitely watch that video. It's great. I'll even post a link of their... Uh, um, what's that name game? Black Plague, Zombie Side Black Plague. So yeah, there's a bunch of Zombie Sides that I don't have yet. I know there's some expansions that I'm still missing. All I have are Zombie Side, City Mall, Toxic City Mall, Prison Outbreak, and Room Org. So yeah, I need uh, the Angry Neighbors expansion. Um, I forgot the others, but I know there's the Wolfsburg and Black Plague. Go watch their videos. It's it, it's fun. It's fun. You you learn a lot, and I can proudly say that I've learned this game through them. Um, so, you know, kudos to Simon to, to, to Simon Games. Um, this game is just incredible, and I absolutely love it. So, be sure to pick up this game. If you're into board games, pick up this game. This game is phenomenal. Play the first one first before you even get into anything, because you tend to learn a little bit more about all the other ones too. So it kind of follows a little story, which I really like. Um, and I would say this is the first game I've ever played that you have to use actual actions within it. So it's like, wow. You have so much to think about. So much that goes into it. But guys, that's Zombie Side. The coolest and the craziest game I've ever played. Um, I forgot what scenario I'm up to. I think I've surpassed scenario 4 and I should be up to scenario 5. I should be. I don't remember where I'm at. Um... But I've been playing a lot of other stuff that I've been coming through, which I'll be doing more reviews on. Uh, next review I already have planned out. And then in the next review after the one I have planned out, or it could be before, whatever, I'm going to be do bringing Emily back for yet again another review. So stay tuned, because it's about to go down. This is Zombie Side. Give it a five. Get the game. See you guys soon with more content. And don't forget to subscribe to DNE Miniature Board Games. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well.